Who will you invite in? 2 John 1, 10 to 11 says, If anyone comes to your meeting and does not teach the truth about Christ, don't invite that person into your home or give any kind of encouragement. Anyone who encourages such people become a partner in their evil work. So I ask you again, who will you invite in? Who do you invite in to your life, to your space? I imagine that you wouldn't go to your door and open it and just let a stranger come in and not only just enter your house, but then start telling you how to run your household, what to put on your calendar, when to eat, what to eat, you know, and, and start dictating your schedule and everything that you do. But I have invited strangers in too often and I imagine that you might have as well, especially if you've ever gone on a diet or signed up for a, a plan or a program by a random person who is creating these things for the general population. You know, if you're watching this in real time, we're at the end of the year, but really any time of the year anymore, people are praying on you, praying on us. They are knocking. They are trying to come into your space and take over. They are trying to get you to believe their way of doing things, of telling you that you'll have a better life if you have a smaller body. These diets and the people who are selling them and pushing them and promoting them are bringing untruths to us and it's time for us to decide who we will invite in. You see, if you turn to God's word, you will find not only hope and encouragement for who you are and how he made you, but also you'll find that motivation to live a healthy life, learn how to truly integrate your faith and your fitness so that you are approaching your health and wellness in a way that you not only will be sustainable, but in a positive way, in a way that you see that you are, you're, you have been entrusted with this one body and you want to care for it in a way that honors how he made you, how he created you. So whether, again, you're watching this at the end of 2023 when it's first published or you're, you know, watching it anytime, consider who you're going to invite in to your space today and throughout the coming days and how you are going to approach your health and wellness so that you are secure in Christ and you can move forward and live the life that he has designed for you to live. Not someone who is coming in and feeding you, you know, untruths about how you were made and how you're supposed to look and how you're supposed to live your life. So I ask you just to take some time today. Consider what boundaries you might need to set. How are you going to, going to protect your spirit, your mind, and your body from those unwanted influences. I think the first thing is to open God's word and start reading it and claim those promises that he made um, for you and about you and just invite the truth of God's word into your life.